Back at Parker Rink tonight, it's hockey night on Aganis Way. The Terriers of Boston University and the Northern Michigan Wildcats getting ready for the back end of this two-game weekend series. Dishes it back. Brody for Fensori. Fensori with a shift. Clears over the line. Terriers got some yeah. numbers and a goal. Patrick Harper. Top shelf on the wrister. And the Terriers have a once and nothing lead on the initial rush. Defense had no answer for that, and certainly the goaltending had no answer for that top shelf wrister. Shot off the faceoff in a goal, Craig Head. And a second time, Mark, we noted earlier that they gave up a clean win on the faceoff to Northern in the D zone. Same look as last night. They're going to try to fly somebody down that weak side back door. Reedman dishes back for Craig Head. Slapper save for Pura. Then Northern able to defend. Now Reedman. Wheeling back up over the Terrier line. Cuts across the line. Drops it off for a oh. shot and a goal. Far circle to May. His second of the weekend. Segrist turns it across to Harper. Harper goes deep into the far corner of the northern zone. Oh. Curry going into play physically. Fensori now with a steal and a shot and a goal. Dominic Fensori snapped the wrister off a turnover. And the Terriers have tied it with 9.14 left second period. Gave him a smash, stole the puck. Forwards of BU start to cycle a little bit. Defenseman comes down low. Everybody involved in the offense all starts with a big play by the captain. Great job out of that first guy. And Owen flipped it in now. A step for Slattery. Slattery carries. Centers one. Save is made by Papura. Shovels it behind the back. Gets it back from Craighead. Malou looking to wrist it to the net. The goal. Found the man he was looking for for the redirect down low. I think that was Reedman. Up high, Van Owen. Newhouse. Van Owen. Position for DeMay. Slapper and a goal. Barred down off the path into the Terrier zone with time winding out here at Parker Rink. All in all, it was, I don't know what it looked like from up top. It was kind of just a. It wasn't really a back and forth game. It was kind of a grinded out. It was not a, a very fun game. Uh, I don't think both teams were uh, really on. Uh, it was going to be a grinded out game. I thought we did a good job as the game were on. You know, we got out to a lead and then they, they scored two quick ones. And then we, uh, yeah, we found a way to come back and get to the third period. It's even. You win the third period and you feel good about yourself, you get three points. Um, we lost the third. You know, we had one blown coverage uh, and a goal, and then we let up a, uh, a power play goal. So that was kind of the difference. Two times in two games, we were going on the power play, and we took penalties, which which cost us. They were big factors in the game. It could have could have changed the game around. So that was that was not positive. Um, wasn't helpful to lose a guy early, so the lineup was a little thin to begin with. Um, but we're not here to make, make excuses. I like our team. We scored seven, we scored four, we scored three. If you told me that at the start of the year, I would think we're maybe better than one and one, one, one and one. Uh, but we are who we are. We're, we are where we're at. We got a long way to go as a group. We got a lot of young freshmen there. Uh, and I thought that the leadership has been really good. Our older guys have played really well. A lot of guys got their first goals. Uh, this weekend, so there's some confidence and offensive confidence there. I just think we've got to tighten things up a little bit defensively. Uh, we'll take the blame as a staff on the penalty kill. Uh, the penalty kill has been very average. You know, they looked really good in their power play, and I thought a penalty kill looked terrible all weekend. Um, and that's that's the blame of the coaches. So we got we got to make sure that we get that thing right, um, and uh, we got to work on it. And make sure guys, we got a lot of new guys killing. But we've got to make sure we, we get that right. Talk us through the decision to start fitting for Perra and what to stop with him tonight. The reason? Yeah, why he decided to do it. Well, he hasn't played a game yet. Um, tuck one on the road, he lost, and it's a competition. You know, um, whichever goal he plays better is going to gonna play. So Vinny, Vinny deserved a turn. And, um, yeah, that's, that was the reasoning. What do you think he did tonight? Huh? What, what, how do you think it was okay. What is your impression of Mastro's been really, uh, he's been good. Like, he's highly competitive. Uh, he's got a good offensive punch to him. He's got good instincts. Um, he's been a good addition, you know. 
uh, him and some others, some freshmen, you know, we get a lot of freshman forwards in the lineup and freshman day. Um, a lot of guys have contributed um, at a high level this early on in a, in a college season. Guys have done a really good job without the freshman class and leadership of the older guys. It would be it would be tough, but uh, he's been one of the guys who's, who's done a really good job so far. I thought he was really good last night. I thought tonight he was a little sporadic. You know, he was a little bit, didn't have quite the same en uh, energy. He, he only played up until about 15 minutes left to go in the in the third last night. He was cramping up. So he uh, he's gonna make sure he takes care, of, uh, take care of himself and make sure he's hydrated, especially when he's gonna play some heavy minutes. But he's a guy that could be one of the best defensemen, offensive defensemen in the country. He's just gonna make sure he continues to play both ends, and he's got to make sure uh, when he's in practice, he's working at it. Um, he's skating, you know, because he's going to he, he skates a lot during a game. Some some D don't skate nearly as much, but he's got the puck a lot. He's up in the play, he carries it on the breakout, on the power play. Um, but he's he's been a he's been a good good player for us and a difference maker at times this year. Like it's it's nice to see his progression. Um, he's in the best shape he's ever been in. Didn't like the penalty he took tonight. Um, wasn't very intelligent, but um, on balance, he's been he's been very good for us so far. Yeah, I I, I guess I, I think that's where the leadership comes in with the older guys. You know, I think I don't think anyone was excited in the locker room um, after the game last night or tonight. You know, we felt like we could have gotten more points. Um, the game was imbalanced going into the third, and we knew it, and we didn't get it done. You know, the night before, we had the game basically taken over. Um, we take a dumb penalty and let a team back in the game. They they didn't really, we ended up coming back, but they didn't, they were playing a smart third. They got it out, they got it in, they backed up at the neutral zone, they put one guy in the puck and made us dump and work for every inch we got. So they play, they've got a little bit more of a veteran team, um, whereas we're going to have to learn to, to put a team away. Trevor. Trevor's been dynamic. You know, he's raised the level of the power play. Um, it's, it's a great five-man unit, but he's, he's a guy that's a major factor in that. Um, he's got a lot to learn, um, but we love his enthusiasm, his coachability. Um, He's a guy that could break a game, o game open uh, at any moment, and he makes guys around him better. The one thing that he's got to do is it was nice to see him get a goal, but he's got to uh, he's got to shoot the puck more because he, he can score. Like he makes everyone around him better, but he can score himself too. So it, it'd be nice um, when he he gets a little bit more hunger to put the puck in the back of the net. Honestly, I just think I've been putting myself in the right place, at the right time. I'm playing with some great players uh, who tend to find me in, in really good spots and. Uh, just like today, going to the right areas, I feel like that's been helping a lot, and uh, a little bit of puck luck as well, I feel. But um, ultimately, just uh, i got to give credit to my line mates. They're finding me in, in really good scoring areas. Yeah, last night I feel like we played our one of our better games of the year. Um, pretty comparable to Union. I thought we were really good. Um, just a couple breakdowns in the defensive zone. Um, obviously, our penalty kill is something that we need to work on. Um, that was a bit of a deflating uh, power play goal that they scored there in the third period. So I think that's one aspect that we really need to look at um, as a team. And other than that, just making sure that we're committed to playing team defense and, and everybody's on the same page in our own end. I think they've been uh, really good. I think the uh, thing that's impressed me the most is they all have great skating ability. Um, obviously, they're still trying to find their way and what works for them in, in college hockey. But I feel that um, they only get better with time. It's obviously a tough transition coming right into to college hockey and playing an older team such as Northern Michigan. But I think um, the lessons they learned this weekend will go a long way into the season.